Welcome to Kim Dragon Food Paradise. Today I would like to share with you um, how to your cutting in water with a heat mat and um, the thermostat temperature control. So here is the heat mat that I, I purchased from Amazon and uh, by uh, Vivo Sun. And this is their thermostat temperature control. So this side is the bigger side they have. Is uh, They have two sides. This is the big one because I root a lot, so I need the bigger side. So this uh, side is 20 uh, by 23 and a quarter. And they have the one that have this side is 10 by 23 and a quarter. So this uh, thermostat control, they say that from, uh, you can set a 40 to 108 uh, degree uh, Fahrenheit. And it comes with a fan high in Celsius. So I'm gonna use fan high. So you can uh, turn on um, your uh, control. Um, you can start from 70 to 85. Uh, I like to uh, set up about 80 degree. Um, making sure I don't wanna overheat the, um, my uh, water too much. Uh, sometimes I, uh, they, if they heat too much, they might evaporate water too fast. And um, if you, at night and uh, by eight hours, if they evaporate, it might can burn your uh, cutting. So um, that's why, but you have to keep an eye on it. If you, you want to put a control 85 degree, then, you know, if they reach that too long, you might check your water to make sure um, if they need more water to refill. So don't let them, uh, dry out because then um, you might can burn the, the cutting. So I want to share with you another thing is uh, when you use water, uh, make sure no tap water, you will fill the water with chlorine free. So you can uh, use the hormone powder, hormone gel, whatever you refer. Uh, didn't matter uh, what uh, brand it is, um, it's still working. So with this one liter uh, of uh, filter water, and I put about uh, one quarter of teaspoon of this uh, hormone powder, and I mix in this water. And I always uh, put this um, filter water bottle handy next to um, well, on top of the heat mat. So you can keep the temperature the same. Uh, room temperature sometimes a little bit warm is good because um, when the cutting are warm in their water while they are rooting. Uh, they like the warm environment. You don't want to pour a cold filter water in. You want to have a room temperature or you want to have a little warm where you put on a heat mat. They keep continue to keep you a, a little warm water. So when you refill in, it continue keep growing nicely for you because you can keep the same temperature. But making sure Keep checking your water. You might need to refill. Uh, in a few days, you uh, see how they build up so many debris in the, the um, your container or your jar or your ceramic pot. Uh, you need to replace it. Um, then uh, keep another water, keep it fresh. So this is how I, uh, I can find a glass jar or any plastic container um, or ceramic pot, whatever uh, you have around your household. Um, so this is my Polora. So um, there are two things that I want to share. Uh, how you gonna, when you're gonna cut the core, you're not cutting um, the cambia now. So because this is the cutting, I uh, trim off from the long branches. Uh, so they can expose with all this uh, flesh. So I want to cut about, look at closely, I cut it only, you can cut half inch or you can cut three and a quarter inch of uh, the, the candy, cadmium uh, exposed to it. And then when you put in the water, uh, we, the filter water here that you already put the hormone uh, powder in here and you uh, already uh, mix them. And you kind of put it in there, making sure it's, uh, the, the water rich like in a half your cadmium not not don't go too high because they need a little heat little touch of the water so they can um, 
I don't want it to um, get rot easily. Now, the reason I'm saying that because I cut it fresh and I cut out the flesh and then I um, root it right away in water. So, why I noticed when you cut it fresh and you put it in water, they still have a lot of energy and um, they root faster. So, they're doing fine. And then another cutting that you don't need to cut uh, cut the flesh out because it at the, the end you can see the end of the branches here is a, a corky that already the cord already kind of corky what they call it is so um, you really don't need it you just uh, put it in the water and then they will uh, root for you but making sure please making sure your mat sometimes the mat uh, may have defected and they stop uh, working to not give you heat because the, you can see the thermostat uh, showing um, 80 degree that way you set but somehow the thermostat not connecting you might check with your uh, core sometime it get loose and um, if it still happen not heat up your mat then your mat have something uh, shorted in your mat that that's why you didn't put out the heat now if they don't put out the heat they're gonna stop uh, put the dog give you a uh, rooting coming out because it's too cold for them okay so they kind of stop and not do anything uh, even if you do it take a long time to root so very important to make sure uh, check your mat frequency uh, make sure put your hand on it and try to see if it's warm okay don't believe the thermostat to work in but the mat sometimes not connecting or it got defective in, in the shortage so it won't work so it's very important so, um, so get that out of the way. So now I'm just want to share with you uh, how to, my process uh, um, rooting um, in water. So rooting in water, uh, it depends on the cutting, and uh, some cutting can uh, root quicker than the other. Each variety have a different uh, root, and I put a lot of young cutting uh, root. I see it faster. Um, sometimes so mature cutting and some um, variety. Um, sometimes take a longer to them to uh, put out root. Uh, two weeks, three weeks, they put out one or two root. They they kind of they kind of dormant. Take them a while to put out root. But in the young cutting, um, when I very young cutting, I put in water. They root very quickly. In a week, they they shoot out root so quick. And um, so it based on what variety too. And some variety. Uh, uh, slow and some very uh, quick uh, but if I notice a lot of mature cutting uh, when they put out root and they put out a lot of kind of thick uh, thick root you can see there and then the young cutting they will put out very thin uh, root so this uh, Bora I, I Took me. Um, I have two cutting a palora. And the other one uh, took for ten day, and I already put in the, in the soil already a uh, few day already, and it took about fourteen day, and um, it is in the same jar. It's the same jar, but it cutting are different. Um, they have their own mind, and some go faster than the other. And um, with uh, Kani G. Um, with the corky thing here that you can see with the cameo corky actually this cutting um root very quick it root in a seven day look at that seven day and um i'm gonna let them root for a few more day um then i'm gonna put in the soy and then i want to share with you a lot of things some of uh, the uh, stuff that i've been uh, rooting in the soy back in um, october november december and uh, some some in January, uh, none of them are root because the weather is so cold. Um, they just stay there, don't they dormant, don't put out root. And actually, they don't put out root. They 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 get cold. Even the cutting is so plump, you know, strong, plump, mature, and uh, they start to uh, dehydrate it. And because they lack of nutrient, because they cannot root, so um, and they get cold. So. Um, those kind of cutting dormant for a long time. When I brought in to in water, 
um, they kind of take root very quickly actually because they've been dormant and they have a warm water and uh, take about a week they start to root, uh, root out um, so I took in um, Connie uh, Connie Mare and you see it with plum and then I keep Put it out there from january i keep rooted and but it didn't rot they cold but it didn't get rot or anything even all the rain come and everything and they didn't even rot but i didn't see i pull out in any roots so i took it in and uh, i put in water uh warm water um rooting them and it took like four days they they shoot out root for me right here so i've been took it out here why so then it's, it's kind of dry out but there you are and um, and it's a healthy comment too. It's like I keep moving them around because they don't like in the soil out there too cold. They won't put out roots, so I brought them in and uh, and then about four day they start to put out some roots for me here, very quickly, because they've been dormant and now they have yeah they have some you know warm water and the heat, so they start to put out root. And uh, this is the young cutting that I tip off from my Rooney. And they put it out there too, and um, they they didn't like it either. Too cold, so you can see how dehydrated they are. But they fine. They they all very green. Didn't matter how cold, but and even the rain, but they didn't got rot anything. So I took them in and I put in the water. You know this thing it's grown quicker. Um, this one it in like it's young, but like in a week they put out this root already. Okay. So it's, it's cutting a different the way they put out root. And uh, so then I want to share with you some more about um, this is young cutting team white, very young. And I cut it, I put in the in the in the water right away. And um, normally keep white take a long time to root, but it's young cutting, very young cutting. And then put it and now look at that. It's about a week after they, they shoot out this root. How, how much root they put out so it's very good you know so um i cut fresh and i root them right away because i think they have more energy i don't wait for a few days or callus out anything um just root in water they put in put in the soil you need the callus because you know all the you don't want the soil get around with that um flesh and easily get infections but if uh remember warm water with the heat and you don't get as much uh infection but if you um with the disease or anything but if you put in the cold water it's easy for you get rot uh when you root in water uh you will see the uh the rot coming in real quickly if it is cold water so that's why heating uh, the heat help them to uh put out root and they don't get rot and then i have to share with you uh some of the ceiling uh, that i uh, hybrid um, then I sent this uh, fruit to my friend and he germinated and he sent back the cutting for me and um, when the ceiling like that I don't know how long I'm gonna take but I don't believe it it's like um, by uh, four day I start to see root coming out and now it's 10 day already I got more root coming out so this is uh, this ceiling I have here and look at this so now total 10 days. So uh, in, in four days, they start put out a uh, root and now you have to see how luster, uh, the root I call luster because there's so many root all together, luster together. So um, look at this. So this is um, Connie, Connie Mare and uh, it's the mother and uh, Lisa is the father. So um, it's gonna be interesting because we wanna create something more hardy. Um, so, um, that's what uh, we try to see. It's gonna be a good combination, um, different combinations. Um, so I wanna share with you another one. People say, oh, this is skinny uh, thing it will be dead because you know I put out to uh, root out to the cold the soil and then um, in January and yeah, they, uh, they look much better today. It take a little bit for them to recover uh, since it's kind of cold and they're kind of skinny because they're in the shade so but they're green but i put it out there to uh, root in the soil and got cold weather and they never root and they turn kind of brown that's mean it's been cold so i brought it in and um but this one will take two weeks because they they have to go through uh the whole process to nurse the uh, limish all this uh, brand back 
and it was brown and then it become green and then when they become green you can see the, it's very processed here if you have this cutting if they're not dead and not dying when you think they they turn brown because they're cold uh, when you put in the uh, water with the heat uh, give them time to recover um, first thing it take about two weeks for them to nurse back the brain keep them energy and then when they get ready the green get ready and they put out root as soon as they have started in up root they're gonna fill it up they're gonna plump it up like I have my uh, my um, uh, kind of G I, I tip them the real thin young and then it, that one it took me about six weeks uh, because they so um, dehydrated so thin and I, I put in water I heat up it take a while for them to nourish back make all nice and, and green then it start to put out root okay so it takes six weeks in process and they put out root and now they plumped it up and put it out to um, the soil because the weather would have been so nice they they look much better now and they, they respond to you know grab the soil so uh, just be patient so don't think you're cutting uh, I will show you more cutting um, that's so young and so dehydrated and general color and I brought in here and they finally root um, it take about two weeks for them to um, recover um, from the cold and go into the uh, temperature with the heat um, with the water and then they got recover slowly and then they're gonna put out a root for you and slowly they're gonna all this uh, color of brown and red and, and become become green and then slowly they they plumped it up and then put out more root the more they put out more root they will recover and uh, then when it's ready you can uh, put in the soy so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about so this is uh, the young cutting that I tip off from uh, Acre Baby and look at this it's been so cold out there and they couldn't handle that cold so you can if i know you can see kind of little green and see the see the edge here is more kind of brown and then they kind of dehydrated okay and let me see the tip here you see so i want to share with you this is very important this is mean it's too cold it's cold out there and the young cutting are too cold they will come back if they have the temperature warmer, they will um, put out root. But the, lately, the temperature take too long, and finally, they have nice weather. So do doing like that. So I rather bring it in, and I bring this in about um, two week and a half already, and take them about two weeks to get used to the environment um, with the heat. And now they start to put out root. So it's a two and a half week they start put out and they're gonna put more out. So by the time they put more out of the root, you can see the, the transformation of this uh, cutting, gonna fill it up. And all this brown will become green. Um, I rescue so many uh, cutting like this and even worse than this, more dehydrated, wrinkle completely. And now they are huge, they big, they massive. So um, don't give up on it, okay? Try to save them, don't give up on it. Um, as long they're not right here, don't give up. Um, then what I, then I have some cutting that I want to share with you is uh, Delight. Delight is uh, take a long time to root in soil. And this cutting, it was very, uh, I cut it off. It's, it's a very strong uh, cutting, but um, they easy to hit by the sun, so they have all yellow. So I brought it in. I would couldn't believe this is a week. I brought it in. It was all yellow here. That's why I trimmed it off because it's too much yellow, and uh, they have some kind of rust in here that you can see, little rust in here. So yellow. So I brought it in, and then uh, I I uh, put in uh, water to uh, I cut it and I put in the water right away to root. And it's in a week they put out root, and as soon as they put out a little root, all this yellow and they emerge with all green. They, you can see they, you can see before they have little yellow, and now, but now see the light green come in, and the root got come in so quickly. So I said, wow, it's in a week, and they just um, have a lot of energy and recover so quickly. 
So this kind of root, you can start uh, put in the soil already because um, the weather is nice. If the weather is nice, then uh, they will grab the soil real quickly uh, with this weather. Uh, right now is the weather lately in a few days. It's been uh, the whole week I have like 80 degree, uh, sometimes 85 degree. So this is a nice weather, but make sure when you put in the soil, um, make sure you put in the shade. It's not because it's the night weather you put in full sun. They, they still fragile. They, they not strong enough root yet. So rooting in water is uh, the root is not as strong in the root in, in the soil. So um, just uh, want to let you know that. So, and then I have some other thing that I want to share with you before um, we go in here. Um, so this cutting um, is, I got it called white crystal and red crystal. And then the reason I'm sharing with you when you cut the cutting and uh, press and you uh, root in water, sometimes that the flesh here we have come out with a lot of slime. It's very slimy. Um, you can change them the water. I wait until the base slime like every two, every two, two days, they kind of really slime and then I'll take it out and wash it off. and. Uh, with another new uh, filter water with hormone and put back in. But you don't want to put too much water. You put just a, a little bit, um, let's say this, you probably put about half inches of water because you want to barely touch them. You don't want to overload too much because they still try to um, dry this part out to get used to that. I think what I think is uh, all this slimy that help control like a barrier control so they're not go deeper so but they're getting too much for two days they now will wash them but the first day they come out uh, I didn't bother I've been checked them like three times a day to making sure they're not uh, uh, rot or anything that they didn't so that's the reason why um, it's a very important that's the reason why I want to share with you so don't worry this slimy thing um, a day is fine second day if it got too much then you start to wash it up and feel uh, I keep doing that and then Finally, uh, I did it three times. It's still slime, but it's less now because that's starting to seal off um, this uh, flesh here. So as soon as it seals off, I see some of them already put out some root. This one already root because, you know, the end of this is more corky. So they already root them already. And this one less than 10 days. So this was here, uh, here. Look at this. I want to show you, it's very important. So I want to show you, if you see closely, uh, root start coming out already here. I don't know if you can see it on my camera here. You can see it with angle like this. You can see one in here and one in in the middle of the camera. The root start to emerge. See, you can see it start emerge. So there you go. So they're on their way to um, put out root. So it cutting are different. Some are quicker and some uh, take longer. Some. Uh, so anyway, so I hope this uh, video uh, is helpful to you to understand um, rooting in water uh, with the heat mat and uh, or the thermostat uh, temperature control is very important. Uh, we don't have enough heat, they won't give out your root. And um, I just uh, want to share that today and um, I hope you like this video. Um, if you do, please make sure you give me a thumb up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And um, I will look in uh, to see you again next video. Thank you for watching.